So you've heard bigger is not always better. However, 100 inches of ALR Vava screen says that you may well be wrong. In today's video, my friends, we're going to be looking at this ambient light rejecting screen from Vava. We'll be showing you how to put it together and giving you a bit more information. Let's take a closer look. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So my friends, in today's video, we're unboxing, setting up, and I'm showing you all about the Vava 100 inch ALR screen. Now, just for full disclosure, this screen has been sent to me by Vava for me to review, but they've not asked me to say anything good or bad about it. And I'm gonna be using this instead of a normal electric drop-down screen. I'm gonna be installing it in my office, my studio, and this will be my go-to screen. Now, when you first pack the screen, you may be slightly overwhelmed by the amount of equipment in there. But rest assured, guys, this is a really straightforward process. What I recommend you do is just double check that you've got all of the equipment before you start, and then look at the instructions, which, by the way, are really clearly laid out and very easy to follow. There's even a snazzy pair of gloves which you'll put on later. Or you can try them now for size, it's up to you. Anyway, right, let's get started in putting this frame together. Now, I'm not going to bore you with a step-by-step -step right the way through, but I'm just going to whiz through in fairly quick terms. One thing that really impressed me was the overall build quality of all of the individual components, starting with the main aluminium frame. Now, this comes in two sections which then unfold, and now you've got to then just put them together. But as I said, the build quality of absolutely everything in this pack was really first class. What you need to do is use the brackets to screw the frame together, and this will give it some rigidity. You will then have to do the corners, and again, just do all four corners, again, following the instructions, and then lay out the three struts. Make sure that you've got the proper struts in the right places, because on those struts are the hooks, which will then hook to the wall. And that's it, that is your frame together. Now, I've had to bodge over a window, because that's where my screen is gonna go. But if you're on a normal wall, it's very very, very easy. But again, I'm not going to bore you with how I fitted it. Now, before you undo the screen and get the screen out, I recommend that you put down a sheet of some type or a protective covering. And now you can really have fun and put the gloves on. Un roll the screen with the screen face down. Now the grey side is the screen face, the black side is the back. You'll then have bars which you slot in which will give the screen its rigidity and it will be used for when you hook the screen over the actual main frame, which is what we're doing now. Now once you've laid down the screen in the right place, you'll notice that the springs in the corners line up with holes on those brackets that you've attached. All you then need to do is drag the springs over those holes. And it's very straightforward to do, very easy. The only thing that you need to make sure is that the spring is also gripping the bar that you inserted in the screen edge and then that's what gives it its rigidity over. And literally, you just need to follow that same step all the way around. Grab the spring, put it over the bar, through the screen material, and then hook it to the side. And guys, once you've done that, the screen is completely tensioned and it works well. There is an adjustable um, little lever that if the screen is not quite tensioned in the right place, then you can make those adjustments, but mine was perfect. You've then got the final stages of putting the black edging around, and again, this goes on backwards and gives you that little black edge. And then you get the corner caps to go over the top. Now, depending on how you're attaching your screen and to what, there is a guide and a template for you to do it. But this is mine, and I've got it on a grey wall, and I really like it. It almost looks like it just blends in with the wall. It covers the window. I'm in a room which is not that huge, and it already had two windows, so for me, it's perfect. Now, the great thing about these ALR screens is that they are ambient light rejecting, and so therefore it rejects light from the side and from above, but from below you can see it's significantly brighter. Now that gives you the best possible picture, whether it be at night or even during the day. I'm going to show you a picture now of uh, an image of me taken during the day, and as you can see, I'm watching Sky Sports News here in the UK. The window blind, which is opposite the computer, is wide open. It's a bright, bright image. I've not done anything to the actual image, and it looks fantastic. Then, when I've pulled the blind down and we've got a dark room, you'll see that it just gives an incredible vibrancy, and that 100 inches 
just looks better than ever. And although I did have a similar size screen there before, it just feels better that this thing is just floating and looks great. So today in the UK was the day of the year where we get brilliant sunshine coming right through that window and as you can see the image is still really good. The ambient light rejecting material really does a very good job. The blind is wide wide open. Okay so I'm using the Vava 4K projector. It's ultra short throw. It gives that 100 image from around about 20 centimeters away from the wall. So it's a really convenient projector if you don't want to have wires through the ceiling and a projector on the other end of the room. I'll try and find some links in the description for where you can pick these bits and pieces up, whether it be from the Vava website or Amazon or wherever. And I'll also leave links to the reviews that I've done on the Vava projectors because I've done the review on the white one and on this one, the black one. But guys, if you want something which is just going to be an absolute wow factor, whether it be playing games, watching TV, watching the Olympics this year, the European Championships in just glorious 100 inches, then this may well be something for you. This screen at the moment is only around $650. It's not an expensive ALR screen. There are some which come in at way over $1,000. So this is very good value as well. So guys, let me know in the comment section whether this is something that you would consider. All in all, it comes in at around about $3,500, which I don't think is too bad for a 100 inch 4K projector with an ALR screen, because this definitely means that you can utilize it during the day as well. And on those big occasions, whether it be a big movie night or a big sports event, this is going to be absolutely incredible. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. The other thing I just wanted to really reiterate is how easy this thing was to put together. It's not that complicated. Just follow the instructions and it works really well. So we have got a load more videos coming out, more projectors, more TVs. If that's your thing, then hit the red button to subscribe. And if you have found this video interesting, then do give it the thumbs up. Thanks again, my friends, for watching. See you on the next one.